I'm looking forward to ask questions to the Nomelar and mainly learn of their experience, the tough experience, how they come through all these difficult challenges in academia, how we can go for it and keep questioning and keep enjoying science. I work in nanophotonics. If you go to nanoscale, you start to discover a lot of phenomena that you cannot see in normal materials. I just finished my PhD last month, so right now I need to think what's going to be next. Now that I'm kind of I'm almost in the plane, it's like, oh my god, <laughs> now I just realized what is happening. Kyle. Where are you from? Vanderbilt University in Nashville. I'm from Australia. From Australia, okay. Uh, from Mexico, but we came okay. from London. There's just so much opportunities around to meet everybody that you have to like um, make sure you don't lose all your energy in the first two hours. I also look forward to talking to each of you about my research and about your research in detail over the rest of the week. Could you please describe a little bit why you think science communication is important? It's absolutely necessary to encourage young people, like yourself. If we don't, then we're not going to get that next generation of scientists. It's been amazing. It's much more than we expect. We're teaching each other because we're given a lot of advice, not only in the academic point of view, but also of what we really want from inside. What will you do if you just finish your PhD in this generation? Try to find a good place, a place where some exciting physics is being done. The ultimate goal is always the same. You have to try to achieve things which are useful for, for the whole society. Being here in Lindau is the most uh, useful experience in my career. Before coming to Lindau, I was a bit insecure. But now I feel the courage to always persist in my career.